And here I'm joined by <laughs> Missy Franklin, who I've been tracking you down all week, and I've been giving you your space. We've had the conversation where I was like, I'm gonna sit back here. You, you come to me. Yeah, you come to me because I don't want to get in the way. So you're finally done. What was the first thing that you ate? Yes. Pizza. Pizza. Oh my gosh, yes, last night. I like didn't even have time to hug my parents. Like I just <laughs> walked into the room and saw pizza and just like straight, like straight to it. And then I wanted to talk to everyone, but I really wanted to eat. And so, you know, you're in that awkward situation yeah. where you're like, okay, like talk to me and I'm just going to eat and not respond to you, but like I'll nod and give you like thumbs up while we're doing it. So I, I respect like that. Eight slices. What kind of toppings on the pizza? It was like a cheddar and artichoke heart, spinach. It was, wow. oh my gosh, phenomenal. Eight pieces is pretty much a whole pizza. It was, yeah, it was a, it was a whole pizza. <laughs> but, but but saying eight slices is my way of not actually having to say I ate a whole cool. pizza by myself, but I ate a whole pizza by myself. I respect that. So you were eyeing a large cinnamon roll. Did that happen this morning yes. or is that a this week kind of thing? Well, okay, so I changed my mind with that. We went because of the pizza situation <laughs> last night we went for a muffin this oh, morning okay. so I had a veggie scramble you know it's all about balance yeah. so I got those vegetables and then a little muffin on the side yep. we're women we're not expected to like know everything all the time and we can change our minds we're entitled to that absolutely 100 <laughs> percent okay so 2016 at this point you're se you're a seasoned veteran on this team what is it like uh, the comparison between 2012 and 2016 trials for you it's it's been so different you know coming back here and thinking this is my third too you know comparing it to 2008 when I was 13 you know it's so different every single time and being back here I think this time it's been a little bit more emotional for me I think I know a lot more people and so seeing more people either make it or not make it having a lot of my really good friends and teammates retire after this you know it's it's been heartbreaking and it's also been really exciting for all the new rookies that we have that have made the team so I think it it'll be a really fun team dynamic this summer I think so too and I think a lot of people are asking questions about the rookies and you know like yeah. it's a large team and personally I'm excited by the vibrance that they bring to this team what's Absolutely. your perspective on that kind of you know growing up with them and knowing a lot of the team but knowing that this might be their first Olympics you know I'm so excited for them and I am not worried about them in the slightest yeah. you know just because this is going to be their first time on an Olympic stage you look at the history of USA swimming and we've never had issues with rookies going out there for the first time they know what they're doing they've yeah. competed at a level like this before they are so ready to handle anything that this can throw at them and I think they do they bring that energy they bring yeah. that excitement and so so to have all of them there, I think it's going to be so fun. And uh, rookie skits are going to be amazing. <laughs> I completely agree. I said that same thing. I was like, do alumni get to watch rookie skits? Because this is going to be amazing. They're also going to be like a full day in length because there's so many rookies. There's going to be like eight skits. <laughs> I know. I cannot wait to. I mean, it's such a cool bonding experience for the team. I yeah. love that we do that kind of thing. Oh, it's so fun. You know, I think a big part of it is being able to make fun of each other, you know, and kind of giving each other crap for the little stuff we do on deck, behind yeah. the blocks. And I think everyone gets a really big kick out of it. <laughs> we are. T I, I think so, too. I, we were talking about the Call Me Maybe video. And I mean, that video was the most yes. hilarious thing ever. But it really shows the camaraderie between our team. What do you think, um, you know, having had that experience in 2012, are you guys going to do like a part two? Well, okay, here's so here's what I've been saying. It's like it worked out so well, right? Because so everyone was making videos to yeah. that. But like, it'd be kind of weird if we just like picked a random song and decided yeah. to dance to it. So if something happens to come up, then I'm sure what well, you know us we will totally jump on board but I think we kind of have to there needs to be something already in motion there yeah. might be kind of weird otherwise <laughs> so your parents are such an incredible support and I've known them for many years it's so funny to think I what was our first national team 2010 together maybe I think so I think 2000 that Pax? Yeah. or 2009 duel were you at duel in 2000 yes 2009 duel then there you go so your parents have you know really been become seasoned veteran parents what does it mean to have their support here for you continually year after year you know it means the world to me and especially you know meets like this when there are so many ups and downs yeah. you know having them to keep things in perspective you know like there are moments this week where I you know had to just go to my mom and be like what if I don't make it like what if I'm not a part of this team and for her to just be like okay, then we're going to have a great summer together. <laughs> like, you know, and just having my parents there to be like, we're so proud of the person that you are. And that's what matters to us. And we know you're giving your best every time you hit the water. And we want you to have fun. So like, go out, have fun, be missy, swim like yourself. And, and to have that, you know, that just helped me so much this week. Like it has my entire career. And I think that's an important lesson for all of us. You don't have to go out and be something extraordinary. All you have to do is show up and be yourself. And I think you do Absolutely. that day after day. Absolutely. And that's something my trainer, Lauren, was telling me over and over again, too. He's like, listen, Missy, you don't have to be superwoman. You just have to be Missy. Mm -hmm. And and hearing that, it's it's so nice because I think sometimes with such an amazing venue, an amazing audience, you know, it's, it's such a spectacle. And you really want to get out there and do something spectacular. But the truth is, it's just another pool. It's just another lane. It's just another event that you've swum 100 times and you're going to swim it 100 more. So it's all about just being you and swimming it like you. 
that was perfectly said. I'm I'm so proud of not only the swimmer that you are, but more importantly, the person that you are. So thank you for what you bring to this pool deck. Thank you for always <laughs> inspiring me. Thank you. <laughs> We're done. <laughs>